Hi, I'm Bob, the product manager for Brother QL Label Printers. Today we're going to talk to you about how to make a simple application to integrate with our Brother iOS SDK. Our simple application here is just going to take three text boxes here to get your full name, your title, and your company. And to test it out first, we're just going to uh, put that text in an image here. And then we're also next going to actually have a button here to print the label to our QL720NW printer. So this is hooked up wirelessly to my computer, and we'll see uh, how it actually prints in a, in a minute after we look through some of the parts of the application. So the first part in, in to create an application, basically we have to go down here into the linked frameworks and add in the Brother P-Touch printer kit framework. So from here, this will be downloaded uh, previously from our website. And then we're going to just click the, uh, you would click the plus button down here, and you would find a location of where you actually downloaded the SDK on your, your uh, Apple computer. And then pick the framework part, and it would be added to your project. And that will allow us access to utilize the, the SDK features. The next part here is you'll see, depending on what printer you're going to use, you'll have to add two files for, um, for the QL, in this case, which is the PT, PTD files. And these designate the actual uh, print layout for the labels that you're going to use with the QL. Uh, so some of the other printers have other files to, for supporting the other different uh, paper sizes that those printers support. So you'll see others in, in this. Basically here you would go to your uh, add files to your application and then in here you would pick where the SDK is again. So I have SDK here. If we go to that we would see in the res folder all the PTD files, and then depending on what printer you pick, so in my case, it's the um, BSQL71WAD and all the Q72WAD files. Those get added to my project as supported so that they get compiled with this. Then we'll take a uh, back look at the storyboard. So again, I just added a text file and a label here to, to let you know what the information that the user needs to enter in. Uh, this here is just an image view box here that we're going to convert the text information here and display it in here as an image. And then the print button will actually send the data to the, to the printer. So now we'll take a look at the actual uh, code inside the application. And if we look at the print function here, basically at this point, we create what is called a uh, p-touch print info. And this uh, print info basically contains all of the settings for the actual printer, its IP address, uh, how it's connected communication-wise, whether it's network, uh, also how, the, how you want the label to be uh, printed, so there's options here we'll see in a second of, you know, print mode, print to fit, or the original. So uh, print to fit will shrink the image down to fit onto the, to whatever label size you pick. Uh, original will leave the image as it, as, as it is standard uh, is in its size. If the image is larger, that uh, could also, if it doesn't fit onto the label, the printer will give you an error. But So that's why we use kind of print to fit so that it makes sure it always fits into the label size. Then we have the option here for orientation. We can pick uh, orientation landscape or portrait, and this depends on what way it prints onto the label. So we'll choose uh, landscape in this case. We also have settings for how the text aligns onto the label. Is it starting in the center, the left, or the right? And then we also have the vertical alignment, which is uh, at the top, middle, 
or bottom. And then we have two flags here, which determines what the cutting is. So the auto cut flag, basically we're going to set that to a one to turn it on. And this means that after each label is printed, it will uh, automatically cut the label out. Then, so the next part that we have here is now we're going to actually create the printer object. So we have a BR P-Touch printer, and we create that as uh, PTP. And next, we're going to now assign the information from the printer, and we're going to set it to what model name it is. So we're, as again, I'm using the brother QL720NW printer. I am now going to set the printer's IP address to what I have in my uh, little network here to be able to print. And then we're going to, based on all the information that we set up here for how we want it printed and what label size we wanted here. Uh, so currently right now I'm using the 60 millimeter by 86 millimeter, which is our name badge uh, label roll and that's DK1234. So we will set that. Then basically we created an image reference. And now we're going to take read the text in from the uh, three text boxes that we have up there. And we're going to combine them into one string. And then we're going to call a function called image from string. And if we look up top here, This image from string basically creates a uh, image file out of the text information so that it then can be sent using our print image function. So our print image function takes a CGI reference and that's what gets passed into the print function. So if we look here uh, at the bottom here, we are going to uh, basically take this, convert it to an image reference, and then we are going to call the print image function and pass it that image reference file. So that basically covers the, the code that we, we created to take these three text boxes and create it into an image. And then the print image uh, function of the SDK will take that image file and convert it into what the printer language understands as raster. So now we're going to uh, go up here and we are going to run that code. And we now see our application in the simulator. And we're going to type our information in here. company as a brother and we're going to run the test to image print you'll see that basically prints the image and now we'll actually run the print label part and out comes our label with our text on it just like that and that is the you know simple application shows you how to utilize uh, to make a simple application utilizing the iOS Brother SDK. We hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you want the sample code, you can email the link below. Thank you for watching.